Hi, I'm Dr. Courtney, Jesus Professor, and in this episode of Street Preaching 101, I want to discuss being part of a winning crew in Jesus. Acts chapter 2 verse 1 tells us that when the day of Pentecost had fully come, they were all in one accord in one place. Larger victories, like the revival on the day of Pentecost, require that followers of Jesus are working together as a, unic, as a united crew in pursuit of a common goal. To that end, it is profitable to consider three questions. Who is your crew? Do you practice mutual submission so that you're working toward a common goal? And do you consider the needs of your crew as more important than your own? On the first question, who is your crew? A crew is simply a group of believers committed to each other in Jesus in pursuit of a common biblical goal, usually having something to do with the Great Commission of making disciples and teaching them to obey everything Jesus commanded. If you don't have a crew, ask God to show you the path to becoming part of of a crew. Two, the question of mutual submission. If you are not seeking input from your crew on major decisions and life choices, you have a gap in the mutual submission. Likewise, there is a gap in mutual submission if significant sins, prayer needs, or obstacles are hidden from your crew. Do you trust the other people in your crew as much as you expect them to trust you? Do you have their backs as much as you want them to have your back? And finally, are the others in the crew more important than you? Do you spend more time lifting up the needs of others in prayer than you spend praying for your own needs? Do you spend as much effort helping others toward their goals as you spend working toward your own goals? Do you celebrate the victories of others and mourn their losses as you do your own? As scripture says, rejoice with those who rejoice and mourn with those who mourn. Heavenly Father, I confess that there are things I need to improve on to be part of an effective crew in Jesus. Help me get the log out of my own eye by focusing on my own improvement before I concern myself with how others need to improve. What a wretched person I am by your Holy Spirit and your Holy Word. Help me see all the areas I need to change to love my neighbor as myself. Help me love my brothers and sisters in Jesus so that the world may know we are his disciples. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. I put my faith in Jesus, my anchor to the ground, my hope.